done in September last year, and we have only two key deliverables. The first one is that we are coming up with a legal framework. There are legislations that are related to Article 133 that are going to be repealed or amended or even new legislation will be introduced. The second one is that we shall come up with a policy framework on what is mercy or what is pardon or what is clemency in, in the Kenya context. So we have had the views of all the, of, of, you know, the counties that we've been and uh, like I said when we began, there are two major areas of interest. The first one is that there are some recurring themes in all the counties. It's like we are wired together. Like when we talk of deferment of a minor, everybody is saying no, 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 no. We think those people, even as we pardon them. Even when at the Council that 27 talks of discrimination, that you should not discriminate against anybody. People are still saying, we think these offenders, because this is, in our view, something that should, be, should not be considered. Then the next one that is coming up strongly is that you have been released, and you, the, part, the essence of releasing you was that you come out and become a gainful citizen involved in your economic activities. It would be not the best thing for you to get back to prison, because you are not able to earn a livelihood. So how to support the entire process of supporting this person to get on with his life, pick his bits and pieces, if he was a youth, marry and then have a family, that we need to rethink the process of some crimes. Like those that, much as you say, those that uh, should be given mercy. Those that are on cases of trafficking, the narcotics, those that are on terrorism related cases, those that are on economic crimes, we are being guided in all the counties that we've been, that we should rethink even as we process their request for pardon. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you.